Indian High Commissioner to Nigeria says the long-awaited direct flight between India and Nigeria is set to begin in less than a month. The High Commissioner disclosed this while speaking with journalists on the sidelines of the commemoration of the 74th National Day of India at the High Commission in Abuja. He said that the direct flight will further strengthen economic trade, bilateral relations and people-to-people -people ties between both countries. He also said that the direct flight will also break barriers in trade and increase the volume of trade between both countries, especially from India to Nigeria, which is currently at a deficit. I'm happy to say that uh, just early yesterday I got information from ERPs that they're going to start very soon. They have all the permissions to fly to Bombay. I'm just awaiting the dates from them. She, uh, the person from Air India, ERPs had actually reached out to us to come and inaugurate it, so we are, we'll be doing it very soon. On the trade relations between both countries, the High Commissioner said it had been stable and strong over the years as they continue to explore areas of improvement. It is now $14.95 billion last year. 21-22 had been $14.95 billion in favor of Nigeria. And uh, we, you, we get about $10.5 billion worth of oil from you and about $4.5 billion of uh, goods, and including pharmaceuticals, engineering goods we send to Nigeria. So there's a lot of uh, cooperation in trade trade sector and we hope to increase that further. Balancing the trade depends on the demand and supply on both sides. So it is a commercial thing. But we are trying to look at the uh, fund, foundational agreements like the Double Taxation Avoidance Treaty, Bilateral Investment Treaty to be put in place, which are important for increasing the trade and economic cooperation. He listed information, communication and technology as the critical areas where both countries are already increasing cooperation. We are certainly trying to look at uh, the ICT area particularly 5G, UPI, which is the Universal Payment Index, and also the uh, Rupee part of it. It would be possible for us to achieve all these things, which will help us in our trade and economic cooperation. Agriculture, we are trying to revive better. And uh, so these are some of the areas in which we will be concentrating in the forthcoming period. Airtel, which is one of the biggest uh, mobile companies, mobile providers, uh, technology providers in India has also won the next uh, 5G spectrum over here. So there are programs which are going on in it apart from the capacity building which we have been helping out in terms of ICT also.